Hey everybody, I've got a really quick and easy craft today, whether you consider yourself crafty or not. Uh, with Mother's Day going to be here in just a couple weeks, um, I found this cute little idea that you could give any mother that you know, like a neighbor, a hairdresser, you know, your Sunday school teacher, something like that, and you're just going to take some cotton fabric, cut it into one inch strips, and you're just going to wrap it around these coat hangers. Uh, some of the coat hangers have the little hooks on them, and some of them don't. It really doesn't matter. You can actually wrap around the little hook and not disturb the little hook at all because sometimes it is nice to have those hooks. Uh, you'll need a hot glue gun, some hot glue, some scissors, and if you don't have any scraps of fabric like I do, you can just go to Walmart and buy some of these what's called fat quarters. Uh, you can ask someone in the fabric department what a fat quarter is if you don't know. They're just these little squares um, that are actually a quarter of a yard and they're 97 cents. They have really cute patterns. And I really think of, of the few that I've done, wrapped already, the really uh, floral flowers um, material it looks the prettiest because it makes the hanger really colorful. And then I'm gonna choose to embellish mine on the neck of my coat hanger. And so it just depends on uh, what color I use. I just went and grabbed a few things, some, some decorative buttons, some ribbon roses, just a, a little silk flower, just some little um, wire mesh embellishments that I had in my stash, and some ribbon. So it just depends on af after I get it wrapped how I'm going to embellish it. But anyway, I'm just going to do one sample for you because they're so easy, and then I'm going to show you uh, the set of six that I have done. Okay, before I start wrapping, I take about a two inch strip of, of my desired fabric and I'm just gonna hot glue it on the tip of my coat hanger because this is gonna be the ending uh, part of my coat hanger and I just wanna make sure that where I end has a nice finished edge and uh, once I finish wrapping, it will cover up that little strip. There's no right or wrong way to start wrapping. I just chose to start right here at the top of the neck because if it is any kind of little imperfection, my little embellishment will cover it up. So I just put a spot of hot glue and then I'm just gonna start wrapping the coat hanger. Just keep wrapping it and hold it with your thumb to keep it tight all the way around. And just so you know, I chose to snap off the little hooks of my coat hanger because with them being fabric covered, clothes slip off a lot less. So there's really no need to have the hooks if you just don't want them. Wrap it all the way around, just keeping it tight. And then when I, once I get to the end, just put a spot of hot glue. Watch your fingers. And it's very forgiving. It's just a real nice, neat stopping point and then just start over where you stopped and we're going to go all the way around till we get to the very end and I'll show you how I finish off the end. Okay we are now at the neck of the coat hanger and just keeping it tight wrapping all the way around catching the previous wrap When you get to the end, just start going over that little part that you previously covered. And it'll just give it a nice finished, you know, kind of catch any little stray piece. But see how it just gives a finished little edge to the coat hanger? And just hold it tight. I just clip it. Keeping it tight. Okay, all right, now I'm just going to put a little embellishment on it. Okay, I want to give you a little close-up shot of all the this, this set of six that I've already made. This is kind of a dark pink floral with a little turquoise bow and button. Here's some spring colors with a little wired flower hot glued on there. Here's the one I wrapped on camera, and I just took some little uh, ribbon and a little white silk flower, and I just kind of looked at the coat hanger and whatever embellishment I had to kind of match the fabric. I put a little yellow butterfly on this green one. Uh, here's more of a solid color. I put a little tulle and a little resin uh, fairy, little fairy girl on there. And as you'll see, I like the floral fabric a little better than the more solid color fabric. And this one's probably my favorite. This is a, an orange and yellow 
floral. Uh, it's not 100% cotton, so it tended to fray just a little bit more. These fat quarter fabrics do not fray hardly at all, but they do fray. That is a little bit of a characteristic of them, but that kind of just adds to the shabby chicness of it. And uh, this is probably my favorite one. I took one of my leftover strips and just cut it into thirds and uh, just uh, hot, uh, gathered it in the center and hot glued a little bow, uh, little rose to the center. And so I might make several like that. But just a little side note on these, on these uh, fat quarters, if you wanna make a set of six that match, you will need two of these. You'll get about three hangers out of one of these. And so for $2 worth of fabric, and then a dollar's worth of coat hangers. That's a really inexpensive way to acknowledge someone for Mother's Day. I think a set of match six matching sets would be really, uh, really cute. I just happen to have lots of this uh, fabric in my stash, and so I may use these for myself, but uh, I might make a set of matching to give someone. So I hope you enjoyed it. Super easy, inexpensive. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.